Hey yo, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, beautiful people of the internet. Here we go, our bus walk and talk, our open morning bus walk and talk. Look, I'm wearing shorts. Wearing shorts, very exciting. Beautiful sunny day today. Little nippy, meant to wear a vest, forgot it. Luckily I have two backpacks. All right, anyway, we are headed to the bus stop to go to the gym to do 21.3. Predictions, mm, the Dave Castro workout teaser thing that CrossFit put out, I think is getting very speculated that that might or might not be the workouts being used. And everyone's saying that because Sean Sweeney had a rope and grips, it's gonna be gymnastics and double unders, which even if it's not Castro's workouts, that's kind of my prediction. Like it's gonna involve both those things because we just haven't seen them yet. And that weird picture that CrossFit put out had like people climbing ropes. We're not climbing a rope, but I think it might entail some sort of gymnastics. I mean, the obvious guess is just double unders, gymnastics, squatting. That's the obvious guess. 21.3 and four would make complete sense for a repeat. A lot of people are saying they won't do a repeat one year apart, but I'm very certain they did 2016 to 2017 with the 55s workout. So I wouldn't be surprised to see that come out. What do I want? I'm like asking myself questions here. What do I want? I would like just double unders in gymnastics because I would like to have an easy day at the office and put up a absolute banger score for my level of fitness, which pretty much will only happen if there's no barbell today. But I don't know, would I be okay with a barbell? Definitely, I would like it to be lighter, like 21.3-ish, like a 95 pound front squat with some gymnastics and some double unders, but that's my thoughts. And then how I'm feeling, man, just interviewing myself here. This is a interesting format. Anyway, feeling good, feeling borderline burnt out a little bit. Not gonna lie to you guys. It's been three weeks since we've been here. It was a very stressful time trying to get this trip together from like, coordinating on the brand perspective and just like making sure we could afford it and all that and to all those people well there's one person who commented on the other video last week i was like taking a bus just rent a car you guys think i'm taking a bus for my health you think i'm doing this because i enjoy it I'm doing it because this is the cheapest way to travel i cannot afford a rental car anyways so getting this whole trip together was like a smidge bit stressful but now honestly like i'm i'm settling in we're enjoying our time here and that's all great but i think it's kind of caught up to me a little bit the mix of like the travel and then also the training and trying to be like super, that guy needs a new muffler. Trying to be like super fit and trying to you know, focus on that while also still trying to focus on the content. Like it's just been a lot. So gonna hit today's workout. Gonna take the entire weekend off training. Ah, this is just the worst place to record audio. Apologize guys. Anyway, gonna take the whole weekend off after this workout. We're going to hang out with some friends. So starting basically end of the day today until Monday when I repeat, which will probably happen because it's the last week. I'm not gonna train at all. So anyway, that's my plan. Feeling good. We're gonna hop on the bus, head into the gym, get ready for the announcement of 22.3. Got a problem. What size are your feet? Uh, size eight. Oh no. <laughs> Forgot my shoes. <laughs> yeah. What size are you? Ten. Let's see. Try. I mean, at this point, I kind of just got to make it work. This was a really great thing to do on a double under week. It's because I wore them to do a workout at home, so they weren't in my bag. So when I packed, like, I never think about it. Yeah. So I just pack my bag. Uh, These are actually right. probably fine. Okay. They're tight, but they're probably fine. Do them really loose? Yeah. Oh yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> Thank you, what's his name? Uh, yeah. Thank you, Abe. I don't know if you're watching this, you're probably not, but thank you if you are. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are about three minutes away from the announcement of 22.3 and probably 0.4, if you ask me. Um, really quick, before we get into the announcement, I wanted to do two things. Number one, shout out to these guys, Airwave. This is week three in a row of me doing the open workouts, and I'm still using this thing, and I'm still liking it. I think... Again, I'm gonna try to wait till the end of quarterfinals to give like real thoughts about if it's improving or this or that, because I want a thorough review. But it's three weeks in, 
These are the most critical workouts. And if you've been following this series at all, you know that I've had to redo both of the last two workouts and both times in the redo, very important, trying to qualify for quarterfinals, I've been wearing this thing. So I'm liking it. But anyway, we're gonna get in to the announcement two minutes to go. I was just talking to Andy about this. Like the first two weeks, I just, I've started to slow. I've started so slow. I'm probably going to redo this one because it is the last week and because Again, I just want to cement my spot in quarterfinals. If this is the workout we all kind of expect it to be, double unders, gymnastics, and some form of light squatting, especially if it's overhead squatting, I think hopefully, knock on wood, I should be okay to not have to redo it. And that's the position I want to be. Just like why I redid 22.2 last week was so that right now, I'm not in a position where I have to absolutely hit one out of the park to get myself into quarterfinals. I'm already really comfortably in the quarterfinal qualifying. So I just basically have to not dive bomb this one. And that's a good feeling. But I also sort of want to set myself up with this first attempt so that I don't have to redo it. If I want to redo it, I can, but I don't want to have to redo it. And I think that basically is just going to be smooth execution. But I also do want to try to, I don't know, force myself to push a little bit, especially because I expect these to be movements that I'm better at. But anyway, with that, let's get into the announcement. Come on. Is four time, 21 pull-ups, 42 double unders, 21 thrusters. Then 18 chest of our pull-ups, 36 double unders, 18 thrusters. Then 15 bar muscle-ups, 30 double unders, 15 thrusters. The thrusters increase in weight every round. There is a 12-minute time cap. Good luck! What are the thruster weights? Thruster goes 95, 115, 135. Ooh, okay. I mean, first thing I'll say is it's very interesting to see normal pull-ups in the open because I thought we would never see a day where chin over bar pull-ups make it into the open just because, I mean, they're just harder to judge. But I like the big set of bar muscle-ups at the end. I don't love the 135 thruster to finish. That is going to be a little bit heavier than I would like to finish the workout with. But, I mean, everything else I'm okay with. I don't mind thrusters. The interesting part for me will be how to break this up. And this is where, again, like doing these workouts immediately after is a little tough because the strategy portion just does not come into play. But I mean, my initial thought is that the pull-ups I'll do unbroken, the double unders I'll do unbroken, and the thrusters I'll break up because I just think they're gonna get tough. Like I feel like even the 21, like I feel like I should break and give that a little bit of a rest. But then I'm also kind of debating in my head, like is that what I did the first two weeks just going too slow and should this actually just be like try to go unbroken the whole time i think hopefully we'll make up some ground is if i can do the bar muscle ups like close to unbroken maybe in two sets we'll see this looks fun all right i'm gonna figure out the standards i'll see you guys on the tripod for 22.3 ladies and gentlemen that was that was an open workout let me tell you of all the workouts we've done so far that that one was an open workout and what i mean by that is the way I feel right now, it just reminds me how much I love being a YouTuber because I don't think there's anyone who's gonna finish this workout and within five minutes of finishing, stand still for 15 minutes and try to talk and give a commentary. The level of Fran lung I have right now, the level of my legs are shaking, my mouth is dry, everything just feels bad. Like Fran-ish, open workout-ish, everything it hurts anyways let's get into this i did the first 21 unbroken because gymnastics for me as you guys know gymnastics and double earners two best movements pull-ups are probably my least good of the three that could have come up being pull up bar muscle up and toes to bar but whatever i knew that this was not going to be about the gymnastics for me at all this was going to be about the last 15 thrusters i said that before the workout and i couldn't have been more right you will see my strategy, which I decided on, you know, in the 10 minutes I had to decide on a strategy for starting this, to do even the early rounds of thrusters in small sets. So you'll see even at the 95, which I'm still here, which is a very easy weight for a lot of people. Sorry about that. It's a very easy, like I said, I just finished the workout. It's a very easy weight for a lot of people, including myself. 21 reps, no big deal. But I knew that the accumulation of all this was going to be franish and that if I wanted to do the best I could at the 115, which is a heavy thruster for me, relative, especially with that much fatigue, 
I was gonna have to be as smooth as possible getting there. So my goal was honestly like, and this was hard for me because like I said at the beginning, I wanted to try to push this time. I wanted to try to have an attempt that could just be a single attempt, which I think I was successful with, but we'll get to that later. But my goal was to like, not come out and go too slow, not come out and do what I did in the last two and overpace. So honestly, this strategy was like a little bit nerve wracking for me. Like I was a little bit anxious about trying to come out and you know, break the thrusters up into small sets from the beginning, chalking my hands in between, doing all these things that I typically do in workouts because I typically go about 85% in every workout and try to you know, sprint at the end. I was nervous because of the first two, first two workouts in my first two attempts and how much significantly better I did in the second attempt. But I feel like if there's any workout of the open so far where I knew my pacing to a T, it would be this one. And I think it's just because of how good I am relative with the gymnastics movement. So as you can see here with the chest bars, I was actually in my head like thinking maybe I would do these unbroken too, like I did the regular 21 pull-ups. But what I ended up doing was going 10 and eight. And that just basically allowed me to flush out enough so that I wasn't just completely getting to a, a scary metabolic place. Basically, when it hit me was after the double unders onto the barbell, the chest of bars and the pull-ups weren't too bad metabolically. The double unders were fine, I could catch my breath, but it was like the first couple reps of the thruster was where I felt like it all kind of started to, I don't know, get intense. And so for me, it was again, just trying to be smooth and smart in these other two movements, especially the dubs, like these were, rep ranges I knew I could do unbroken very easily and I knew would be active recovery for me. So that was the goal. Obviously I wasn't trying to push the pace at all in the double unders. You know, unless you know you can do this whole workout unbroken, like the double unders will be a bit of an active recovery for you and they should be. With the goal of being able to kind of do what I did there, like approach the bar at like a semi okay time frame. you know, like not taking like 20 minutes to get to the bar, like finishing the double unders taking a quick breath, addressing the bar. So as you can see here again, I was breaking up into sets of three. I can't see my sets from here. I think the first one was like eight, seven, six, and this one was like seven, six, five or something like that. I don't know, whatever the math checked out to be for three sets. <laughs> and again, my goal was just to, you know, make sure I was as in control as possible. I kind of checked the clock pretty early on. I have no idea, I'll say this right now, I have absolutely zero idea how long it took Con and um, Tola and Annie and them because I didn't watch any of the announcement. I literally just basically 10 minutes after they announced it, as soon as the score sheet was up, I made sure I was, you know, had the stuff measured properly and I just went right into it. So I don't know if they finished, but, or sorry, I don't know what time they finished and I'm sure they finished, I know they finished, but I don't know what time they finished in. And I don't know, I was looking at the clock and being like, I know it's a 12 minute cap last week. The first two weeks were, you know, try to finish as much as you can. Well, the first one was an AMRAP, but last week was try to finish as much as you can. I figured for, I think most quarterfinal athletes will finish this. I think there will probably be some that don't though. And those will probably be the ones that are in a qualifying spot to this point because there haven't been any high school gymnastics. If I'm guessing, like they will probably be struggling with the chest bars and the bar muscle ups. You know, I think a, an advantage I had with this and the reason why I was comfortable going at the pace I was, is you'll see right here, like I go into the bar muscle ups and I'm able to do them in three sets. Could have done them in two, like, I don't know, 15 is just a number. We've done a lot of that kind of training this year leading up to the open with like big sets of bar muscle ups, big sets of gymnastics under fatigue. So I was very confident with my ability and they felt great, like they weren't too taxing. Andy even said at the end, he's like, oh, kind of looks like you were slowing down a little bit towards the end of bar muscle ups. But like, honestly, it wasn't that. Like I was, at this point in the workout, I really wasn't that fatigued. What I was feeling was like, a, I know what's coming next. I know that this 135 is gonna be tough. Like the 115 was not too hard, but it was, you know, a little bit of like a oh, press, oh, press. I think I paused out at the top of a couple reps. I just knew that there was no, no reason for me to do two biggest sets on the bar muscles because I'm already pretty confident that they were a strong enough movement for me that I'd be a little bit ahead of what most people are gonna do with the sets I'm able to do on these, doing it in three sets, basically two. So the push to go on broken, <clears throat> the push to hold on for the last two reps here instead of just dropping down and doing two more was negated by the fact that I knew what was coming on the 115 bar. And yeah, I mean, that was literally it. It was the 115 bar looming over my head that, that decided my approach for this whole workout. Like everything I did was based around getting to that bar 
and I couldn't have been more right. Like you'll see when I get there, it was struggle bus city. I think I got there with like, at like the, I don't know, 7.30 mark. And I think it took me, I don't remember what my final time was, you'll see on the clock back there, but I think I was about two minutes to do 15 thrusters. Like it was bad. And like, yes, thrusters are a rough workout or a rough movement for me. You guys know strength endurance is tough. And for me, 115 is the upper echelon of what I can do comfortably for lots of reps with a thruster. 135 is definitely where it starts going downhill. So, I mean, the, I guess the um, advice for this workout would be you're likely, if you're a quarterfinal athlete or trying to get close to that, you're going to be playing towards the 15s, either the 15 bar muscle ups, if gymnastics are your weakness, or the 15 thrusters, if barbell cycling strength endurance is your weakness. Obviously for me, barbell strength endurance is my weakness. The whole workout led up to these last 15 thrusters. And you'll probably be able to see, I mean, it probably won't, won't look as slow on camera as it felt. No, of course it doesn't, but it felt bad. Like you can even see here, like my chest dropping a little forward, having to kind of do that snake hook push. I think I got four in here and I was just like, uh-oh, like, whoa, world was closing in on me. It was feeling pretty gnarly, put the belt on. But anyway, back to my point, that's me. If gymnastics are your weakness, you're playing for those last 15 bar muscle ups, they might be slow, they might be big sets, or sorry, big amounts of rest in between small sets like my thrusters were, but you're likely gonna have one of those cruxes. If you're an upper echelon quarterfinal athlete, especially if you're a semifinal games athlete, this workout is just going to be really fast. Like, you'll probably break up the gymnastics smart and smoothly, especially the 15 bar muscle ups, but every upper echelon athlete should be able to do these thrusters I would say near unbroken, like maybe the 135 you break up because you're just gassed, but the 135 is also the end of the workout. So like I could see an athlete like, you know, Olsen or someone like him, kind of a shorter range of motion, barbell cycling athlete, they'll be able to do all the barbell stuff unbroken. And then depending on their gymnastics capability, it might just come down to like Fran Lung. So, and I mean, other than the strength fatigue, that was definitely what started to set in for me. It was very Fran Lungish. Like I, we left the fans on, which was a mistake because the air is really dry right now because it's still kind of like winter, springish here. So, oh my goodness, my mouth was so dry. I went and took a drink of water at some point and I apologize for that. I told myself I would never do that, but guys, I was I was choking. I was choking on what little saliva I had because my throat was so dry. Anyways, this was just brutal. I think I looked up at the clock here. Yeah, I saw that I had, I was just over the nine minute mark. I was like, okay, let's finish sub 9.30, take a little hefty rest here, go back up to the bar. I was in the pain cave here, guys. Like this. That's the reason why I, I don't think I'll redo this one. I've said this every week. The first two weeks and the first two workouts, I did not finish in the pain cave whatsoever. My redos I did. This one, absolute pain cave, destroyed after the workout. There, boom, okay. I was nervous about that last rep. I asked Andy like four times, I was like, did I do it? Did I, right here, I'm like, did I press that out? Did I press that out? He's like, yeah. I was nervous I didn't, so looks like I did actually lock it out, which is good news, but anyways, guys, that's it. That's my 22.3 attempt. I like the workout. Biggest advice, play your weakness. Be real with yourself, whether you suck more at the gymnastics or you suck more at the barbell cycling and play for that last set of 15. <clears throat> Be smart on your way through. Like, again, for me, I'm really good at the gymnastics. I don't think doing the first set of 21 pull-ups I'm broken and the second set of 18 and two sets at all affected me overly at the end there you know if anything if i was to redo it i could maybe go a little slower but i think you should take advantage of the things you're good at if you're really good at the barbell cycling the first 21 and the 18 of the thrusters you could probably do unbroken or maybe in two quick sets but again in that reverse if you know you suck at something like i do with the thrusters break them up early play for the end of this workout i think it's definitely for most of us it's going to come down to how well you can handle either the 15 bar muscle ups or the thrusters again depending on what you suck at more but that's it guys open series concludes we are moving on to quarterfinals knock on wood as long as this i don't think this was an absolutely horrible score i'm sure it wasn't a great score but i don't think it'll be enough to knock out the quarterfinals and if it is i'll be redoing it monday but we should be moving on to quarterfinals and that will be the next content coming out. I'm excited for that. We got a really sweet group plan. It's gonna be me, Pat, Ellie, Turner, Freya. It's, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a really fun crew throwing down. We'll be with them every day. We're gonna be spending the weekend together. Michelle's gonna be here coaching us. It's gonna be really fun. So be sure guys hit that subscribe button, tune in for that content. Thank you guys all so much for tuning in. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy fam, good luck. Peace.